In peace studies, there's not only different types of violence, there's also different types of peace. We talk about negative peace and positive peace. Negative and positive peace refers to negatively and positively charged ions or whatever that attract each other through magnetic force. During the Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King wrote a letter to his fellow clergymen from the Birmingham jail. In it, he basically said that the biggest obstacle to their goals wasn't the segregationists, but actually the moderate whites in America who sympathized with the cause of civil rights but didn't want to rock the boat, who preferred a negative peace, which is the absence of tension, over a positive peace, which is the presence of justice. He said, shallow understanding from people of goodwill was more frustrating than total misunderstanding by people of ill will. Think about that. Our man Galtung also talks extensively about negative and positive peace. It's important to make this distinction because otherwise we may focus only on the fighting and stopping the violence, which is very important. But equally important is addressing the reasons people find themselves in that situation in the first place. The underlying culprits that don't get resolved with negative peace are the structural factors like discrimination or exploitation, harm to certain people based on who they are. It's also the factors that are culturally violent, that make us see the world in a way in which there's a sharp division between me and you, and I am more virtuous than you are, and so some discrimination or even direct violence is justified. What's happening in the relationship between big, complex groups of people? How can we work to move those relationships from harm to something more life-giving? The goal of peace building, therefore, is not simply negative peace, it's positive peace. Like Dr. King said, not simply the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice. Thank you for watching. Positive peace out.